Hey guys, welcome and today I'm going to show you how to make a very delicious dish from Congo which is ngai ngai with smoky pork. Now ngai ngai is a vegetable like spinach and you can eat it with rice, with plantain, with fufu or kwanga and whichever side you like to eat it with. So without further ado, let me show you how I make it. Okay, these are the ingredients I'm using. I'm going to quickly go through them and if I miss anything, I'll leave it on the description bar below. Now I've got here chopped aubergines, I've got one onion chopped, green peppers, I've got here garlic, I'm using about three garlic and I just chopped it casually and I've got spring onions, I'm using about two spring onions in there. I've got chopped tomato in the tin. I'm gonna use a couple of these beef bouillon tablet. I've got palm nut, it's concentrate. And the main ingredients that you have, ngai ngai, smoky pork, which is ngulu fime. And not to forget, I'm also using ground nutmeg, chili, and maggi cubes. And again, I'm gonna include everything on the description bar below so I've washed the pork already and now I'm gonna add 600 millimeters of water so I'm just gonna pour it in there next what I'm going to do I'm gonna add two tablets of beef bouillon I'm just gonna show you again how it looks like so these are the tablets that I'm going to use I'm just using two of them inside the pork so we can boil it and yeah so I'm just going to open a different one another one and just dab it in there next I'm going to add a tablespoon of ginger paste so I'm just going to whack it in there Then I'm going to add a bit of salt, not too much because the bouillon tablet already has salt. Next I'm adding about a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I'm going to close the lid and let it boil for an hour. Then straight away, what I'm going to do is get a different pot. I'm gonna get different pots so I can boil the ngai ngai. So I'm doing it separately. I'm adding the palm nut concentrate. So I'm just gonna add one can, everything inside the pot. Next, I'm adding 700 millimeters of water. So I'm just going to pour it in there and mix everything together, as you can see. I'm now going to add ngai ngai inside. Bear in mind, mangai ngai is actually frozen. So when I bought it, I washed it and I put it in the freezer but I'm just gonna dab it in there. Now adding the ingredients, I'm adding everything apart from the aubergines and I'll explain why later in the video. So I'm adding my onions, I'm gonna add all the onions in there. Next, the green peppers. Then I'm gonna add the garlic. And then I'm going to add the spring onions. And not to forget the tomato. I'm using half of the chopped tomato tin in there. And again, you can actually use fresh tomato if you like. But I just find it easier at this point just to use the tin tomato. Um, why am I using this spoon? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to throw everything in there. And again, I'm just using half of the tomato tin. 
as I mentioned earlier I'm not gonna use the aubergines because I'm gonna boil everything for about 45 minutes and I don't want to keep everything in there for too long because it gets very soft so I'm gonna add it after now I've put the pot to the heat and I'm gonna add two Maggi cubes to give it the taste Then I'm going to close the lid and leave it for 45 minutes for it to boil. I've got the heat on medium and within the 45 minutes I will occasionally check on both pots just to see that everything is falling into place so you don't want things to be burned so just stir it every now and then so it's all good. So I've turned off the heat for the ngai ngai and then I'm going to turn on the heat on the pork. I'm going to put the heat on medium. Then I'm going to transfer the ngai ngai inside the pork pot. As you can see what I'm doing now. I'm now going to mix everything together, making sure that it all mixed well together. And I'm just going to keep on stirring it. This is the time where I add my aubergines. As I mentioned, I don't like to boil it with the ngai ngai because it gets so soft. Remember, we're cooking this for approximately an hour and a half and I don't want it to be soggy. But egg, and again, it's up to you. So I'm just gonna pour in there and stir everything so that it all gets mixed together. And what I normally do on this stage I actually hide the aubergine underneath so it can get cooked properly. Now after stirring everything I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. I'm going to let you be the judgment of this and it's completely fine to taste your food as you go along because you don't want it to be too salty. So I've tasted the food and it's completely fine for me to add the all-purpose seasoning it just brings a beautiful taste into your dish and again make sure you you do taste it so it sits well with you because you're the ones going to eat it but yeah <laughs> and I'm gonna stir everything Now I'm going to add chili, this bad boy here. I'm going to add it. I'm not going to pierce it. Uh, I, might, I might pierce it, but I, I'm not sure right now. So I'm going to pierce it for about 45 minutes. Within 45 minutes, I'm just going to occasionally check on it and stir everything. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. I'm just going to remove the lid and turn the heat off. Then I'm going to stir it to make sure I stir everything. By the way, I actually pierced the chilli, so I hope I don't regret doing that, but yeah. But you see what I was saying about the, um, the aubergines? The reason why I don't like adding it before, um, when I'm boiling the ngai ngai, is because it actually gets very soft, which it just doesn't sit right with me. And as I said, it literally depends on you. But yeah, that's about it really. So yeah, so I'm just going to show you. It's actually steaming. I hope you can see it properly. This is it. Oh, gosh, it smells very good. This is just going to taste delicious. Like, oh, the bomb. Yeah. 
thank you very much for watching and if you did try it please comment down below and let me know how it went for you and please like it share it and subscribe because i post videos once a week and i'll see you soon on my next video bye